Hey there, it's Julia from Crocoblock. Welcome to our new tutorial. And today we are going to discuss the Jet menu plugin functionality in general. So I'll show you where we can add and customize the menus from the dashboard and the Elementor page builder. And we'll go over the main settings and awesome features of the Jet menu plugin and its widgets. Moreover, we'll uncover the key points of the default team menu, custom menu, and the coolest hamburger menu which is available with the Jet Menu plugin 2.0.0 update. So, let's dive into the world of the Croco overviews! Guys, this plugin is really cool and it works perfectly for everybody. If you know how to set it, just follow along with me and I'll show you how to do it. So if you want to dive deeper into the detailed customization, feel free to click on the links below in our description. Please be patient, we will update more videos about Jet Menu on our YouTube channel. And now I'd like to start with the question, what is the Jet Menu plugin? Basically, that's a must-have tool for creating the menus, to improve your web navigation and add any type of the content. So. What do you get with the Jet Menu plugin? There are three layouts as of right now. Horizontal Mega Menu, Vertical Mega Menu, and Hamburger Mega Menu. Our three friends in need. The first Horizontal Mega Menu, which is simply called Mega Menu, is a truly cool option if you don't have many tabs. It's neat, clear, and easy, and of course perfect for niches. By the way, to make your horizontal menu look nicer, it is recommended to set the full width of the content area. The second is the vertical mega menu widget. It is suitable for your website if you have many tabs, so that you have a cool side menu as a result. The third is the hamburger menu, which is available with the Jet Menu Update 200. With the help of it, you can place your menu in a mobile view mode, and that's not about the handiness only, it's also about the style. Apart from the mobile devices, you can add it to the desktop and tablet as well, with no coding skills required. Isn't that cool? You can add everything to these menus, literally. For example, for the shops, display the product categories so you can open already sorted out products. Add the structured info right away, so it's really handy. Then add multimedia easily to get the trend in menu look. Also, you can display the portfolio here and put all the needed contact information in this tab. So now let's proceed to the essential cases and settings. Guys, we got carried about everybody, so we have two different cases when you have the theme menu, default theme menu, and custom menu. It is crucial to distinguish them while they have different settings. To start with the default theme menu, let's follow to the WordPress dashboard. Then Jet Plugins tab, Jet Menu Settings. Here you can style up the tiny details starting from the container, ending with the icons, dashes, etc. What is cool is that all is fully customizable and no coding skills is needed. Now let's have a look at the main tabs below. The desktop menu settings, the options drop down where you can find the animation effects, triggers, then the menu container styles, everything that you can do with the container from the items alignment to the border radius could be done here. The sub menu container styles with two tabs. Simple submenu panel and mega submenu panel. To sum up, this tab is needed to play with the all container style settings. Next go the desktop menu items tab. It's all about the items customization. Here you can see the separation between the top and sub items. And you can set here the typography, borders, colors for different states. Uh, by states, I mean as here, the default state, hover, and active. But keep in mind that toggling on sub-options, the additional list of settings appear. 
The third tab in Jet menu settings is the Desktop Advanced. Customize the top and sub-level icons, pages, and drop-down arrow. If you want to choose the icon, it should be picked in your menu later in the Appearance menu settings. The last tab in the settings is Mobile menu. Pretty the same setting for the container, menu, top, sub-items, etc. You can customize it separately from the main menu. In other words, this whole section, Jet Menu Settings with these four tabs, should be used for styling. Here you can see the Presets Manager button, where you can easily create and then use the presets. You can export and import settings as well. If you need to reset them, it could be done also here. But guys, when it comes to the content, proceed to the Appearance menu on the dashboard as well and then go to the Menus tab. Here, let's focus on what is so cool about the Jet Menu plugin. Except for the styling of every tiny detail, you can add any type of the content. That is why here in the Add Menu items, enable the Jet Menu for the various locations. And for Mobile Layout, choose the needed menu also here, so you can add pages posts, custom links, categories, anything you want. Then on the right side, play with the menu structure by changing the order, simply dragging the needed item. When you hover the item, you see the Jet Menu label. Do you remember I told you that you can change the menu item icon? So yes, that could be done here in the item icon tab. The same could be done with the item page. Going back to the Mega Menu tab by clicking on the Edit Mega Menu Item Content, you can add any type of the content. So you can drag and drop Elementor widget or Croco widget and style them up. Guys, let's proceed to the Elementor page builder where I'm going to show you three widgets out of our Jet Menu plugin. Here we go with the Mega Menu, which basically has the horizontal layout. Select menu for the desktop or mobile view mode. Use the preset if you have any. Lots of mobile layout settings with the animation container position here. And the style settings with all these settings for the container, menu item, items badge. Keep in mind that if you choose the background in the admin panel and then decided to choose the background in the Elementor page builder, these Elementor Page Builder settings would be applied first on your menu. So, alrighty, the next is Vertical Mega Menu widget. Just choose the menu and the position with the animation effects. Let's check on them. We have here Cool Fade Effect. Next, Move Up. Then Down left and right. Also a bunch of the style settings. Here guys, hamburger menu at its best. Select the needed menu, decide on the layout animation effect. Let's see, we have here the traditional slide out and also the classic drop down. And one more cool animation is the push effect. It pushes down the content below, like here. Enable the breadcrumbs here and play with the content and style settings as well. Not to change the boring icon to the one you want, it's a crime. With CrocoBlock you can do it. And that's it. That was an overview of the Jet Menu plugin functionality. I hope we made it clear what are the main, additional and style settings and where are they located. So now, you know how to do it by yourself. Be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more tutorials from our awesome CrocoBlock team. More videos about Jet Menu plugin would be updated very, very soon, guys. Because we love you. Just keep your eyes and ears open. May the CrocoBlock power be with you. Papa. Pa.